Over the years, we've talked a lot about prophets. But what if we never had prophets? What if God didn't speak to prophets today? What if we removed every word from the scriptures spoken by prophets? Uh, are we getting too deep? Well, the truth is, the words of the prophets throughout the millennia influence everyone on earth today, whether or not they believe. So, to study about the importance of prophets, let's first spin the Wheel of Twelve Minor Prophets to see who we're learning from today. All right, it's the prophet Amos. Okay, Amos is a shepherd, a nobody really. Not rich, popular, or famous. Just a lowly servant feeding his flock. But as we've learned previously, a shepherd warns and saves his sheep from danger just as a prophet uses those same skills to warn and save people from danger. Now, Amos, living on the northern border of Judah, preaches from 760 to 750 BC, about the same time as Isaiah, and warns Israel and all the surrounding kingdoms, repent or face destruction. He starts by giving specific warnings to different cities about what lies in their future if they don't change. Okay, our first contestant today is Tyre. Okay, Tyre, in our first briefcase, we have fire that will destroy all your palaces. And in the second, we have salvation by turning to God. Which will it be? Um, man, this is a tough one. Uh, I guess it'll have to be fire. Uh, s seriously? Yeah, it's too much work to turn to God. And you think fire is the better choice? Okay, fire for Tyre. Our next contestant is Moab. Okay, Moab, here is your question. Would you rather A, turn to the Lord, or B, perish by fire and tumult? You have 30 seconds. Time starts now. Oh, boy. Um, can I use my phone call? Uh, do you need to? This one seems pretty obvious, right? Yeah, you're right. Well, let's go with B, perish by fire and tumult. Final answer. <sighs> yes, Amos warns many cities of impending destruction, like Samaria and Bethel, but they don't repent and turn to the Lord, sadly choosing their own demise. Then, around 750 BC, God sends a huge earthquake, striking the capital cities, breaking altars, tumbling walls, smashing houses, causing fire, and destroying the land. The effects of this earthquake's destruction can still be found in the Middle East today. Google it. Now through Amos, like his other prophets, God's preparing his people for the future. Surely the Lord God will do nothing until he reveals his secret, his plans, his counsel, his instruction, his purposes to his servants, the prophets. Yeah, God's not going to blindside us. He's been preparing us for centuries to know what's coming and what's expected. In fact, there are books of scripture filled with the specifics along with ongoing revelation today through his current prophets. And through his prophet Amos, the Lord explains that the drought, famine, rain, and scorched harvests are ways he's trying to get his people to repent, change, and seek him and live. But in chapter 4, we read five times, Yet have you not returned unto me. Alrighty, time for another spin of the Wheel of Twelve Minor Prophets. Whoa, Obadiah. Now, we don't know much about him because his book is only one chapter long, but his name literally means Servant of Jehovah. Certainly, we all want to be an Obadiah, or Servant of the Lord, and Obadiah teaches that one way we can do this is by being saviors on Mount Zion. But what does that mean? President Hinckley taught that as we engage in temple work for others, we literally, yes, literally become saviors on Mount Zion. Meaning that just as our Savior gave His life as a sacrifice for all men, even so we, in a small measure, become as saviors to those on the other side. Now, as we've seen over and over again in the Old Testament, prophets are men called by God, and their job is really, really hard. They travel a very lonely road with the weight of the world on their shoulders, and often their counsel is super unpopular. 
That's why we should all be super grateful for prophets, because the light and knowledge we receive from God through them can save us from danger and uncertainty. Yes, without prophets, we'd be completely unaware of God's wonderful plans for us. But there's no need to float along without a clue as to our purpose, because God has called prophets, past and present, that can help us navigate to safety. Next time we learn about a really big fish. I mean, really big. It takes a lot to make these videos, so to keep Line Upon Line free for everyone, consider donating. The link's in the description below. And thanks for watching. This episode is packed with info, so you might want to watch it again to make sure you didn't miss anything, including the hilarious jokes. If you feel this video has helped you on your path towards truth and Christian discipleship, please subscribe and share. Most importantly, go read the scriptures for yourself.